<laughs> Today is July 3rd, 2020. I'm in Covington. I'm not even two miles from the Abbey. And I don't know if the camera is able to look at it, but right down here we got a little tiny swarm of bees right down here. I got the I got a phone call not even 20 minutes ago asking if I could come and remove these bees because we're right in the culvert right here. We're supposed to be getting a lot of rain this weekend. And the lady was cutting the grass and she was concerned that the, the water that we get, the amount of water we get this weekend is gonna fill the culvert up and wash the bees out. She didn't want the bees to die, neither do I. So here I am, 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, five minutes from the Abbey and here's these bees. So I got a little fire frame nuke, got some uh, old brood comb in it. I, I've got some frames of honey. I didn't find them. I just grabbed some frames and just threw them in the nuke box for right now. But I'll, I'll put those frames of honey in it because these guys, it's, it's one of the deals about these late in the year swarms, July swarms, the, you don't know whether, you know, there was a, there are abscound bees or there was a problem with the hive. You know, it's not typical for bees to swarm at this time of year. And so generally, if you do ever swarm, they came from problems and, and so they're not really all the time in best health. But I'm always one to, to give the bees a chance. So I'm gonna put them in a little nuke, feed them, I at least put some honey frames in there and uh, see if these guys can make a go of it. I don't know, but by the grace of God, they will and maybe they'll develop into something over the winter. Let's wrangle up these bees, huh? So I don't know if you were even able to see the bees when I was sitting down, but let me zoom in on them and then you'll see the little cluster of bees. Now ah, they're coming into frame. There you go. It's not much of a swarm, that's for sure. Of course, the dirt roosters say this is a monster swarm, but that's just him. So I'm gonna grab the little nuke box. I don't even have to put any lemongrass oil in it. Those frames are- do it so they get in it quick. <laughs> so we can get back. You're not supposed to be talking. Lemongrass? <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and slide that box underneath there and I'm gonna push them in there and they'll get in there. Let's see what happens. What's that? That white, is that a honeycomb? What white? It looks like there's white. Oh, and there sure is comb on there. Yeah, That's they've been there for a few days. And now that I've put the box down there, I see that the bees have already started drawing out comb. So I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna just have to reach in there and start grabbing some bees and try to cut some of that comb out of there. Cause they're not gonna get off that comb all on their own. If it was a swarm hanging, they would, but if there's comb, they're not going to get off of it. So let me change things up just a little bit and put on my bee suit. <laughs> <laughs> There's our queen. You got the trap? Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus! Woo! That's great. All right. I don't know. 
give them a few minutes, calm down, and uh, they'll get down to that box. And all these bees flying around, they're going to come land on our queen right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, one of these frames and drop this cone down into the bottom of the box to get the bees to get in the bottom of it. I mean, look, they're already, they're already, already on it. I realize this isn't glamorous, but it's going to get the job done. We got our queen right here, so we're going to separate her right here. I'm going to put the lid over this to keep all this stuff out the sun and let the bees get into our box. It's been about an hour since I left. I put the lid on the top and gave just bees a little bit time to move into the box and as you can see I only count five bees flying around right now. We've got some really bad bad weather coming in right now and I want to come over here and grab these bees and get them back up to the alley. I'm gonna go ahead and close up the box. Yeah you can see our queen right there. Oh I just felt some raindrops hit me so I'm gonna work kind of fast here and get these guys closed up throw them in the van and head up to the alley. Got the bees loaded up in the van. We're only a five minute ride to the Abbey and I'm gonna just set them up. I'm gonna let the queen stay caged up tonight. I don't, I, I mean, when I saw her, she just looked like a virgin, little virgin queen to me. But when I go through that comb tomorrow, I'm gonna look to see if we got eggs in there to see if she's laying yet. I don't, I don't know. But uh, we'll find out. I think these girls will be doing just fine. I definitely am gonna be feeding them, put some frames of honey in there. And as long as I keep feeding them, they'll be all right. I'll keep them in a nice little safe area behind the honey house. They'll do fine. So that's all I got for you in this one. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video.